is Soul Libra. Welcome. Happy birthday. I know. I know. I know. But happy birthday. It's your birthday. It's still your season. I know everybody rushing for Scorpio season, but it's still your season. It's been it's been very interesting. Hold on. Oh, you got release. Look at that transforming, transforming energy. And we have change. Yeah. Yep. And then you got trust at the bottom of the day. Mm -hmm. Trust in this transformation. Trust in whatever you got to release. Whatever you're letting go. Mm -hmm. Whatever's transforming. Yeah, don't force. It's like don't force anything. Or maybe you looking forward to the change and you like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm I'm getting. It's like you ready to release. You like I'm ready. I'm ready for the change. But it's like don't push, don't try to force anything to happen because then you may create an outcome that is not favorable. Up, oh, we already got. Hold on. New, see, yes, this whole, your whole season has been all about the new beginnings. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we got status quo. We got friends and colleagues as well. So I'm feeling like with, it's like you're, you're, oh yeah, you, you're ready for the change. You're ready for the new beginning. Um, you're ready to break out of the status quo. Now, there's going to be people that's going to support that. And there's going to be people that's not going to support that. Okay. So. I feel like it's like you're trusting within yourself. That's why you're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm ready to break through the status quo. New beginnings. Let's see what else. Birthday. Yes, it's your birthday. This, like I'm saying, this, this Libra season has been so significant. Mm? Yep, you being assertive. You like, listen, I'm not. Y'all always been like that, though. You got pregnancy. Now, if it's not a, again with the with the birthday, yes, it could be congratulations. But of course, not every, that's not everybody's case. It could be your birthing in this new beginning. Oh yeah, it most definitely some some of y'all are pregnant, or the, you know, you, or or you could have you could be sharing a birthday season with their baby. All oh, that is special, right? Like your birthday gift is a child. But it's like you're birthing this new beginning if that's not the case. Okay. Oh, a son. Or your son. Okay. Is pivotal with this change, with this new cycle that's coming in. Hold on. I got a white squaw. Mm -hmm. Can't have that. Okay. Mm. Wow. Or your son is having a child. Something to that effect. Okay. Say yes only if you want to. Stay being assertive. As I said, you're not worried about what other people think about this new change. You know, about you releasing any type of energy. you like, it is what it is. You don't agree with my, with my decision. That's on you. But I got to do what's right for me. You know? Hold on. Mm. Yeah, the stat, this is the status quo. Complacency. You're done with it. Ooh, soulmate energy. Say yes only if you want to. Enlightenment. 
okay? Enlightenment. Birthing this new you. Isn't that a boy? Oh my gosh. Wow. If it is, that's going to be a golden child. You already know. You already see that. That's going to be a golden child right there. And maybe the circumstances of the birth or this pregnancy. Maybe the father's not around. You know what I mean? And people are telling you, oh, you should have an abortion. Like, you know, or whatever the case may be. Whatever you decide, you know, it's for your life. You're going to have to live with the con the repercussions of whatever decision you make. Forgiveness, all right? The process of forgiveness. That's, that's letting go, too. That releases a lot of energy. Peace and harmony. That's been an ongoing theme. Definite. Ah, love and accept yourself. That came out before. Yep. Self-love. When you assertive, when you uphold your boundaries, when you're ready to release and you're ready to move on and you're ready, irrespective of what anybody else thinks or feels. You like, listen, I love myself enough to know what is not working for me, what I need to let go of. <laughs> okay. Especially when enlightenment is what? When you, um, it's like receiving a level of, not all, yep. Stop. Uh oh, damn it. Hold on. All right, we back in session. <laughs> oh, it's chaos. So listen, so look, the clouds are dissipating. Enlightenment, Right? When you're becoming aware, it's about awareness. It's about your level of consciousness. You're becoming aware now of certain energies. And this is why the st status quo isn't sufficing anymore. You're releasing old thought patterns, your old way of, of being. And you're bringing in peace and harmony now. Okay? You're bringing in warmth, light, right? That's what the light represents. It's, it's, it's like warmth. Okay, energy, unapologetically, you weren't happy, okay, you weren't happy, and this is why you're able to cut, you're separating the wheat from the chaff, the real from the not real, mm, loyalty here, yeah. loyalty, Trustworthiness. Trust. You have trust at the bottom of the deck as well. Trustworthy friends. You know? Soulmate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I cannot trust you or not. And I think with this card, it's like, what's the impediment to enlightenment? What would stop you from being on your path? It, and I think he said fear. Fear is the only thing that can stop you from achieving your goals. Six of Pentacles, yep, invest in. Okay, what I do see, like I said, maybe you have a, you could have an older son. <laughs> and he might be like, I need a loan. Wait, wait. Ace of Swords. This is the enlightenment. This is the truth. Woo wee. Coming out. Tower. I'm telling you, unexpected. I think it's like an unexpected total shift. And your friends and family are going to be like, who are you? Knight of Cups. Who are you? Or maybe it's an unexpected offer. Or unexpected pregnancy. There's so many things coming out with you. Libra. Oh, we got the King of Wands here. 
You got Capricorn energy here. The enlightenment with the devil. It's a lesson being taught. Oh, yeah. You, you got the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot going on here. Okay. Unexpected shift. Unexpected. This is unexpected. Whether it's an unexpected pregnancy, unexpected total shift, and maybe even your spirituality. Okay. Your connection to spirit. <laughs> yeah. Of course, now everybody's abilities are awakening. And people are going to be looking at you like, what? I think with the complacency, it's like for a long time, you were unhappy. For a long time, you were worried about what other people were going to think. You were worried about what other people were going to say. And you're like, I'm only getting older. I cannot, I, I can't live like this. You know what I mean? I, I need peace and harmony in my life. You know what I mean? I'm releasing all of that. I'm releasing all of that. The self-imposed prison of the self-imposed thoughts in my head. And then look, that's it's like this is the freedom now. This is the freedom. Like, no, I'm not going to be trapped in, in, into that and locked into that. And this is the lesson that you're learning. Okay, devil, that's that's what you're learning. It could be something that, oh, this is what I'm saying. It's a whole shift in your spirit. Libra, it could be a whole shift in your spirituality. You're coming to a whole nother enlightenment about spirituality. And maybe possibly your friends and your family is going to be looking at you like, that shit is of the devil. What are you talking about? But you, you're like, I'm trusting in what I'm learning, what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting an enlightenment. My skills is coming out. You know what I mean? Like, I forgive them. It's okay. Or you could have did that possibly to your son. Possibly. They could have been on the path to their enlightenment. And you're like, you, you shame them. And then now you come you're like, <laughs> oh, shit. Please accept my apology. Because now you coming online. Wow. 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 Libra, I'm going into the extended. You can join us on Patreon if you like. We're going to tap in, we're going to go further, we're going to clarify, and we're going to look into love. If not, thank you for joining me, and I'm going to see y'all on the check-in. Peace.